how to install Viper for Android on your Xiaomi Poco F1 running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Viper for Android on your POCO F1 running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. As you can see, I do have the POCO F1 running MIUI 11 global stable version 11.0.4.0 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisite for this video is that you need to be rooted using Magisk and you need to have Magisk Manager installed. We are going to change SE Linux from enforcing to permissive. How does that affect your device? I have links for that in the pinned comment. So once you've read those links, you are the one who needs to decide whether you want to change your SE Linux from enforcing to permissive or not. Can this be done without root and without changing SE Linux to permissive at the time of recording this video? No, it is not possible. However, if we ever get an updated message, I will have a link to that video in the pinned comment as well. What are the files which we need? The files which we need are again linked in the description of the video and we need two APKs. You need Viper for Android APK and then you need the SE Linux Changer APK. Other than that, we also need a zip file which is Viper for Android patch for the POCO F1 running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. Once you've downloaded all the files, you'll go into File Manager, go into APKs. The first APK which we need to install is the SE Linux Changer APK. If you get a pop-up about allowing from this source, make sure you enable the toggle, go back and then click on Install. It will give you a message that it is blocked by Google Play Protect. Click on the down arrow and select Install anyway. If package installer asks for permissions, click on allow. Once the application has installed successfully, we will click on open. And as you can see, it is asking us for super user request. Make sure forever is selected and then click on grant. If you do not get the pop-up for Magisk super user request, that is because Xiaomi is blocking the pop-up. I have a separate video on how to fix that, which is again linked in the description of the video and you can also find it in the pinned comment. Next thing we need to do is set the SE Linux mode to permissive. Once that is done, we will click on the home button and then go into settings. Next, we need to go into apps, permissions, auto start and click on OK and make sure that you give auto start permission to SE Linux mode changer application. Why are we giving this permission? We're giving this permission so that Every time we reboot our device, our SE Linux is changed to permissive. Next thing we need to do is reboot our device once. Back into Android, we can unlock our device, go back into File Manager, APKs, and the next APK which we need to install is the Viper for Android APK. Click on Install. Once Viper for Android has installed successfully, we will click on Open, and it is going to give us a pop-up that no driver was found we need to click on ok and once you click on ok you should again get a pop-up for magisk to allow root access so i clicked on ok there it is i got the pop-up for magisk root access i will click on grant at this point it is going to install the drivers and reboot the device however because of some issues it will not boot back into me ui it will boot into fast boot mode however there is nothing to worry we are going to fix it by using the patch zip file, which I have linked in the description of the video. As you can see, we have booted into fast boot mode. At this point, all you need to do is press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP recovery boot logo. Once we have booted into TWRP recovery, we are going into install. And now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the patch zip file in case you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred it manually and here is the file viper for android patch for poco select the file and then swipe to confirm flash 
once the file has installed successfully all you need to do is click on reboot system back into android we can unlock our device and now if you open magisk manager and check the modules you will see that we do have a viper for android magisk module installed and you should have a viper for android application in your app drawer as well let's go ahead open the application and as you can see we are not getting the pop-up about no driver just tap anywhere and then click on the icon besides the settings icon as you can see neon enabled is yes audio format is supported which means the drivers for viper for android have been installed successfully on our poco f1 next thing we're going to do is check whether it is working or not we are going to open the music player and then we can go into my music here is a piece of music which i have on my poco f1 let's play it there it is we can now go into viper for android tap anywhere enable the master limiter toggle tap on master limiter one more time reduce the output gain using the slider only if i can get it to work there it is as soon as i reduced the output gain there is no music coming from the speaker and let me try to increase it music is back so there it is peeps as you could listen viper for android is working like a boss on our poco f1 running me ui 11 based on android 10 and that will do it for this video i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you